Internet Explains channel, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Today, we will look a little closer at different exponential expressions and how they can be grouped accordingly. In the previous lesson, we concentrated on exponential function. Obviously, there exists a relationship between the independent and dependent variables here since it's a function. And usually, these variables are x and y respectively. So the distinguishable feature of an exponential function are it is an equation, meaning it has equal sign, and that x and y or f of x are both present. On the other hand, an exponential equation, as the name suggests, is an equation also, of course, or one which has equal sign, but involves one variable only which acts as exponent, usually x. It can be solved for all values of x which satisfy the equation. Lastly, an exponential inequality is in a way similar to an exponential equation in the sense that it involves one variable only which acts in the expression as an exponent, again usually x. But it is entirely different from exponential equation because it involves inequality symbols and not equal sign. Do you realize how big the group of exponential expressions are? They can be categorized further into three big sets, the exponential functions, exponential equations, and exponential inequalities. Until next time!